So the little time that we've gotten to see Matt Ryan's offense in preseason, it did not look very pretty. Matt Ryan's offense was just not in rhythm. They just weren't getting together. Receivers weren't getting much separation. Matt Ryan just wasn't getting... It was just off. You know, the offense didn't seem like what we were expecting. You know, we expected Matt Ryan to come in, make this offense better to start with, you know, even though they're not going to have much time with the receivers, not all that stuff. But at the end of the day, starting offense did not look very good. Receivers didn't get separation. Tight ends were looking eh. Offense line looking eh. Running game looking eh. But it's not too much of a concern. It's just preseason. These guys are just getting to learn each other now. They're just getting to get the rhythm of the game and how each other likes to play. You know, Matt Ryan has to figure out how these receivers like to break, when they like to break, you know, what are they thinking in their heads, what do you think the receivers want to do. Um, There's so many things that Matt Ryan has to learn, not just about these players, but every little thing about the playbook as well. And learning an NFL playbook takes a long time. An NFL playbook isn't just a five, you know, a 30-page book. It's it's a 200-some, maybe 400, you know, it's – it's a big freaking book that you got to look through and you got to study through. And on the, and, uh, and on average, it could, you know, it takes a player to really know the ins and outs of a playbook, probably a good 12 months. You know, Matt Ryan is very smart. System isn't too different from what it was over in Atlanta. But still, Matt Ryan in this cold starting offense did not look very good in the preseason. Now, as I've already said, they're just trying to get to know each other. They're just trying to get the hang of things together. But there is some cause for concern. This Colts team needs to come out strong versus Houston and Jacksonville. If they don't have at least a decent game versus Houston, then I'm going to have more worries. I don't care if they haven't been together that long. Houston's defense should not cause that big of an issue. Now, John Taylor didn't play in the preseason. That's something else to note. But at the end of the day, you should be able to get some drives going. And, you know, Matt Ryan just didn't have it. Matt Ryan struggled. You know, it's not that he struggled. You know, this entire offense really struggled. Matt Ryan just didn't look like he elevated the team and elevated and elevated the wide receivers like we thought we would. Now, let's wait until week four, week five, or you know, even week one or two. If they struggle big time, then there's already big cause for concern. But if it's week four, if it's week five, and they're still struggling a lot, then the cause for concern just reaches an all-time high. But I think this offense is going to be okay. Coming out week one, you're going to have an easy matchup. You need to win that matchup. And you need to go to Jacksonville. And you need to win in Jacksonville as well. Big first two weeks. This offense needs to just get by. Week three, however, you play KC. It's a little different. You need to really step it up a notch and see where we're at there. But that's going to be a good test for Matt Ryan in this offense. Well, John Taylor, you know, maybe when John Taylor's going to mix, it makes a big difference. It gives a lot more room for error to these receivers it gives a lot more room for the passing game to you know a lot more room for the receivers to get open because teams are gonna have to respect jt and you know this offensive line has looked you know eh, okay but the right side has struggled you know i'm not a fan of danny pinner at guard i'm just not from day one when they named danny pinner at the guard i'm like okay he's an okay maybe below average guard i'm not very high in him at guard I like him at center a little bit more than guard. I know you would say it's probably similar, but I'm just not a fan of Denny Pinner being the starter at right guard. You know, I would have much rather if we kept Chris Reed and Mark Lewinsky, but that's that's long gone now. That option is way out the window. So Denny Pinner's gonna have to do. And I hope Denny Pinner plays well because we really have no other option. The offensive line depth right now is not the greatest, you know. Losing Glow and Chris Reed really really hurt in that department because Chris Reed or Glow either one is an amazing depth piece and either one had their weeks of being a very good guard Mark Lewinsky we know played for the Colts for three four years he played fine he played amazing he was a weak link of the number one offense in the NFL but that's not but but you know he was extremely good when Mark Lewinsky is your weak link that's that's kind of crazy that's a really good offensive line you got there you got a lot going for you but now you got Danny Pinner, not a big fan of him. And on the left side you have Matt Pryor. He's gonna be he's gonna provide average, you know, average left tackle play, maybe. This offensive line is not gonna be as good as it was the last few years. It's gonna be good, it's gonna be okay, it's gonna be solid, it's not gonna be above and beyond though. It's gonna be enough to get the job done, it's gonna be enough to give Matty Ice enough time. 
Matthews, Matty Ice gets the ball out with his hands fast. He likes to, you know, he's just a smart player. He knows where to go with the ball. He's not going to be car like Carson Wentz, undecisive, and look here, look there, look back, look here. Ah, uh, heck with it, just throw it and see what happens. No, Matthew Stafford is going to have a logical reason, explanation, or scenario in his head that could possibly happen on why he's throwing this. Now, it's going to be tough if this offense does not come out strong. We need them to come out strong. Davis Mills, you know, and the Texans offense, they're, they're, I, I think Davis Mills is a little underrated. Now, I think if we didn't have a defense, we did. I think Davis Mills and this Texans team would have a solid chance in week one. But considering that we have the defense that we do, in which the defense has not disappointed, you know, the defense has been what we expected. The defense has been amazing. Stephon Gilmore, Buckner, Gakwe, Pay. Leonard isn't back yet, and the defense is still playing at a high level. So when Leonard comes back, that's going to be a whole other story. If we do get Leonard for week one, I'm 100% confident that we could knock this game out. I know it sounds a little cocky to basically guarantee a win, especially when the Colts just can't win in week one. But I think the Colts do win in week one. This defense is going to be too much for Davis Mills in that offensive line. As I said in the past, I like Davis Mills. I think he could be a solid quarterback, but against this Colts defense, no offensive line, not too much of a help. I think it's going to be too difficult for Davis Mills to overcome that, but I think Davis Mills is that type of quarterback that can overcome a team that's not great, but I don't know if he could overcome if he could overcome a roster like that and you know an offensive line like that going up against the Colts defensive line and the Colts defense. Uh a lot to look forward to, but there's a lot of questions at the same time. We're going to be excited to see JT for the first time in week one. Going to see how he is since he didn't play all preseason. You wonder how he's going to play week one. So, you know, there's definitely some cause for concerns with this offense. There's definitely some things that need to be answered, some questions that need to be answered, some things that need, that need to be cleaned up. We need to see Matt Ryan and these receivers connect a little more. We need to see Alec Pierce get some more separation we need to see more separations from the separation from the receivers in general we need to see the, the offensive line perform a little better we need to see a better run game now the special teams did struggle the first two weeks in preseason last week or or, or, or yesterday i should say the special teams actually looked pretty good so i, I wasn't worried about the special teams to begin with i think it's going to be just fine now we did lose jordan glasgow we did lose a few guys in special teams george odom so it's you know, it's not that big of a deal. I think the special teams are going to be fine. Bubba Ventron will get everyone ready for special teams. But Bubba Ventron is the best, if not one of the best, special teams coaches in the NFL. So, you guys let me know what you think about this Colts offense. Do you think it's a little much to worry about? Do you think it's? Do you think we should be worrying about it? You know, what are the questions that need to be answered? You guys let me know what you think. Thank you for tuning in to the JW Sports Talk Show. Where we fans welcome. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, put the post notification bell on for the same future videos. This is JDW signing.